Hello YouTubers, today I will be reviewing this Sonoff TH10. It's a um, it's a Sonoff Wi-Fi switch device that has a sensor built into it, uh, well, attached to it. And it allows for switching power to any, you know, 10 amp device maximum load of 10 amp. And it, and it checks the temperature and humidity through this AM2301 sensor. So let's open this sensor up and see what's inside. So the sensor looks like this, and it just plugs into the Sonoff device. Let's open this up, and here's the Sonoff. A little screw came out. Let me put the screw in this thing. So the wires are here, and, and they get screwed down. So here's the Sonoff device. Here's the sensor. The sensor plugs in here, and um, it checks the humidity and temperature. And depending upon when, like how high the humidity or the temperature, it will turn on and off automatically or you can control it manually uh, to plug it in you have the output here the very last one you have two earths or grounds and you have an input which is the hot 110 and then you have uh, neutral and this is a max load of 250 volts 10 amps and it's that's it there's nothing really to it it has like a little hole here if you want to screw it down to something and screw it into here I'm gonna connect this to this little light bulb just to test it out to see if it works. Let's go ahead and do that. But before I plug this bulb in, I have this old extension cord that I cut and I'm gonna make this as an input. So I'm gonna connect the black wire is the, the load, the input load or the hot. I'm gonna connect it here and all you do is just press down these white tabs you push it in all the way, let go, and it's snug in there. All right, the green wire is the earth. So I'm going to flip these over, and I'm going to connect the earth over here. The reason you have two earths is because for the output, you have one earth that can be connected there, or the ground. And I have a load, I mean neutral, sorry. And I'll just connect the neutral here. Push it in all the way, let go. It's snug in there. Okay. Now, so the input is connected. Now we're going to connect the device that we're controlling. I just have this uh, 8 watt LED light bulb, 800 lumens, and I have a white wire, which is neutral, and I have a black wire, which is hot, or in this case, it's going to be connected to the output. So press in this tab. The wire can bend on me a little bit so you can see. Let me twist that. I press it in. I push it in. I let go. And we're all set. And the neutral. Oops. I press in the neutral. Okay, it's connected. So now, um, let me connect this to the outlet and we'll see how it works. Okay, I have the Sonoff plugged in. Now, I should probably put this little wire clamp just to hold everything neat back on because I don't want the hot to come out. I should have probably done this before I plugged it in, but it's okay. So I'll just screw this in nice and snug and these just hold in the wires and they're really tight so we should be all set okay so now that's connected uh, the humidity sensor is connected now to get this thing to work you need a phone so you can download this app called EVLink now here's my phone and here's the app it's E W E link you just after you download it, you click on it. And I already have three devices on mine, and I'm gonna add another device. To add a device, you just hit this plus button, and it's um, it's telling you to long press the matching button for about five seconds to keep the device into the pairing mode. So it's this button here, so I just press. And there's, there's actually a little LED built in there, the blue light you just saw. It's flashing, so I just press and hold till it flashes at the same rate as that for about five seconds or so. There it goes, it starts flashing, four flashes and it stops, four flashes and it stops. So it's in pairing mode now. So you just hit next and then you tap in your Wi-Fi and your password uh, for your router and then just hit next and then it's connected. Okay, now you can name it anything you want. I'm gonna name it, uh, TH10 okay so now it created a TH10 and to control this light I can just either hit this and it will turn on 
to turn off or I can actually click on a device and this little thing comes in and shows me that it's 79 degrees in here which is 26 degrees Celsius and the humidity is 74% well I'm in I'm in my garage right now so I don't have AC that's why it's so warm but uh right now I'm using this manual if I switch it over to auto it asks you for the parameters in uh, Celsius I don't know if you could see that so higher than C in Celsius it will turn on and lower than this it will turn off so you can actually hook this up to your um, I don't know like a attic fan or a fishbowl uh, pump or something and every time the water gets you know certain temperature it will kick on or kick off so I'm gonna do this um, I'm gonna bring a hair dryer in here and I'm gonna say that to turn this on whenever it's uh, 26 so higher than 26 it will turn on and turn off when it's um, 25 okay so now it will stay off until it goes higher than 26 so to 27 and up it will turn on and I'm gonna get the hair dryer and um, we'll see if you can get this thing to trigger okay I grabbed the hair dryer and I'm gonna adjust this a little bit um, I'm gonna put it on manual I mean on the automatic and I'm gonna do it to 27 degrees so if it's greater than 27 degrees Celsius it will it will turn on if it's lower than 25 degrees Celsius it will turn off so as I blow the hair dryer on the sensor it will heat up but the only problem is this thing reads temperature every minute so um, like if it gets hot halfway through it won't register it till it reads it you know every minute increments or so so let me go ahead and get this hit OK so right now it's 26 degrees in here if it goes above 27 it will turn on so I'm gonna put my phone right here Here's a sensor, get the hair dry out, I'm going to put on low heat. There he goes, it turned on, it's 28 degrees, 29, 30, oh it is kind of instant, I'm sorry. Oh, it is instant. I didn't know that. So, it's reading pretty accurately. So, this thing is 31 degrees Celsius, which is 88 degrees Fahrenheit. And humidity has dropped to 59%. So, now it's going to cool. And as it's cooling, if it goes lower than 30, I want it to turn off. Okay. Okay, so lower than 30 will turn off. And once it goes below 30, if it ever goes below 30. I'm gonna heat it up again. So heat on high, put this to low. I'm heating it up. All right, 32 degrees, 33, 36. 39, 40, all right, so if it goes lower than, uh, so if it goes lower than 60, it will turn off. Let's see what happens. Lower than 60 will turn off. Right now it's at 60. Oh, 59 and it turned off so that's how it works it's kind of instant kind of not instant and it shows 5% humidity because I heat it up so much as it gets cooler it will read a little bit better okay and I don't think these things are meant for a lot of heat maybe 120 degrees max Fahrenheit I heat it to 135 but it's okay this is for YouTube review well I hope you liked the tutorial um, please like and subscribe. Oh, another thing. I did not see any in the settings here to change this from Celsius to Fahrenheit. It just says C. Maybe 
it's somewhere in the settings which it's not here but um oh well okay now I want to take this apart to see what's inside here just like a little scuff mark or something so uh, there's not really any screws holding this together so I'm just gonna pry this open with a little screwdriver maybe on the edge over here there it goes all right this is what it looks like so you have all your terminals here uh, you have a, a, f a fuse in here so if you find yourself that you buy one of these and you hook it up to a big motor or something and it stops working it's probably because you've blown the fuse uh, this is there to protect to keep from overloading because this amp only handles 10 amps it's really really small I mean not amp uh, the relay is really really small and it can't handle too much voltage so we have a little plug for the sensor here a relay a fuse transformer two LEDs one for the Wi-Fi and one for to tell you if, if this is on or off and we have here some bus lines this looks like to flash the ESP which is on the other side let's go ahead and unscrew these four screws and take a look take a little peek okay all right so it's pretty simple looking so here's that ESP and here are those bus lines to flash it so all you do is just soldering your little pins there and uh, I'll maybe show you a video later how to do that then let's see so the relays right here and it's separated oops not relays right here so the relay is switching these two lines and see how they're heavily heavily soldered here that's because they're carrying lots of amps so this other this is out this uh, bus terminal is out so uh, this one is in so voltage comes in here goes here this is the fuse so the fuse is right here and it's separated by a little gap here so it goes through the fuse uh, to the relay and then relay switches it and sends the power out and uh, these two here they're see they're connected these two are earth which are ground and th these are neutral and neutral goes here to power the board and it's like a little I'm not sure what that is like a rectifier or something and then we have our um, on the other side we have our tr transformer which um, brings the power down steps it down to probably 12 volts maybe or something and then it brings it down to 5 through a little um, voltage regulator or it might be this one or it might be that one but it's pretty simple inside so yeah this fuse is important to know about because if it stops working take it apart and check the fuse because more than likely the fuse has gone out all right 